to make sure everything clips into place. Oh, it just sounds like it's breaking the whole time. Oh, this is awful. I don't like this at all. Alpha, this alpha is past. Prepare to him a hard work with attitude. Hello and welcome to the next episode of Build the Megazord where we are looking at issue 32 this time and yes I know I said last week during the live stream that I may not be putting out a video this week but I found some time in amongst the packing for moving house to get this video done and the next one as well. Um, I realised that I wasn't going to have internet next week when we actually move so I thought I would make two videos, upload them to kind of oversee that time where we're moving and then hopefully I'll be back. Uh, with you properly doing face-to-face -face camera stuff uh, in three weeks time in a new location in the new house because I am moving house tomorrow. Uh, for those of you who missed the live stream go and check it out if that's your thing. I've had a lot of positive comments from that so thank you very much uh, for those that attended. Um, I'll be doing uh, a live stream again in the future because I really enjoyed it I just don't know when. Um, I don't want to take up too many of the numbers doing live streams so I'll find a reason and a way to do live streams again in the future but for now like I say we're looking at issue 32 where we're continuing with the fantastic Tyrannosaurus Zord, Red Ranger Zord of course and we start with this piece here. Um, if you did miss the live stream you would have seen that I um, finished both of the arms, T-Rex arms so they are all done and we're now moving on to the chest and body piece of the T-Rex for the next few issues. So yeah, have a look at this piece. Again, gorgeously painted, or I think moulded actually, in this lovely shiny grey. Uh, yeah, it is slightly duller on the inside than the outside, so there is some paint on the outside as well. And of course, it's a very iconic shape, just missing a few accents or so. So let's get started by putting them in. We've got these lovely, lovely glossy red pieces here. What you need to do is there's two little pegs oops, just there and two little holes there and we just align everything up so that it just essentially just clips into place. So I'm just going to put it in these pegs here first if I can. Or is it from the, no, it does say to go from the back on the instructions so there we go. Oh, oh. Interesting. Very interesting way of connecting them. Okay, hold on. Get in there. Is it just a case of putting them into push them into place? Yep, I think it is. There we go. There we go. Alright. So you see that sit flushes that sits flush there. And from that way obviously you can't see the seams. And they are in there. Um, I wouldn't recommend gluing these pieces because we are going to see the inside of this chest uh, when it goes down to reveal the T-Rex head so um, yeah I wouldn't recommend it because you may damage it if you glue it. I'm just going to do the same again on this side. Just make sure everything clips into place. Oh it just sounds like it's breaking the whole time. Oh this is awful. I don't like this at all. Horrible sounding. Let me just do this off camera. Be right back. Okay that was horrible. I hope we don't get many clippy please clippy pieces in the future because just all that clicking made it sound like I was breaking it the whole time. But yeah, those are the two red parts in, looking lovely. And they don't sit fully flush. There is some really nice 3D elements uh, to it. They sit out slightly, which adds a little bit of texture and a little bit of detail, which uh, I wasn't expecting. So that is very, very nice indeed. So let's just put this aside just for the moment and bring in the crest chest piece of the T-Rex. Let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see it. And you can see that is, you know, that is the iconic, I'm upside down, but that is the iconic emblem on the T-Rex chest there. And of course, this is going to be, this flips down to reveal a, a little port where you'd put the Mastodon head. So I'll show that off in just a moment, but we just need to make it so that it is able to flip down. And to do that, we need this piece here, which is this hinge. 
and we need this, um, this spoke here as well. So what you do is you get this piece, get this piece and line it up. Then you push the flat part of the spoke in because there is a textured part to seal it. So you put the flat part in and then you just push it down on the textured part so it is flush and you see that that pin then goes all the way through. Might be, could actually just push in just slightly more. Okay, but yeah, and then that creates a hinge for it's up and then it will hinge down to reveal that little part there. Looking very, very nice indeed. Right, then we just bring back the chest piece and we line up this front emblem there like that so it sits nice and flush there swing it around and you'll see that there is a peg hole there that gets covered by this piece and we just screw it down to secure it there we go and that is all screwed in now so if i get my thumb in there you see that opens up lovely oh and it's got some click to it so yeah it's got a bit of how does that work? Oh, it's got like a little, you can't remember to see that, but it's got a little clip there to hold it in place. And then when you flip it up, it dislodges that clip. Very, very nice indeed. And actually, if I just put that there like that and bring in the Mastodon head, there we go. Uh, it will clip into that piece there. Let me just zoom out slightly so you can see what I'm doing. So in tank mode, that part will just slide in there and then, yeah. You have the Mastodon attached to the T-Rex there. And that is pretty sturdy, actually. That's very sturdy. It's a very, very nice, easy um, grip. It's a, it feels like it's slightly loose, but it's not. You know, that's very nice. So I was wobbling the um, table there doing that. But yeah, very, very nice indeed. We then flip this around and you see we've got another screw hole just here. And that is for this piece to go on. Here. I think this is just to give some strength to, well, I don't know, to the T-Rex head or maybe it's another clip in the future, I don't know, but that just slides in there. I'm just going to screw that in now. In as long as I exist. There we go. So yeah, I'm not entirely sure what that does. I'm sure it'll come to play later. It's nothing to do with this hinge. It is a separate thing, but yeah, that is very cool. Now the final thing to do this week revolves around this piece here, which is the hinge for the main movement of the chest, because that descends down to put the T-Rex head in, of course. But not only that, this piece will also contain the sensor for the T-Rex eyes. So it's been a while since we put the T-Rex eyes in, but this is the sensor for them so that um, they shine blue as they are meant to do. So um, what you do is, if I get this right, Okay, so I think the instructions are there. So yes, the wire is unfurled and just thread through this hole here, like so. There we go. And then you see there are two pegs there to match those two screw holes there get everything all lined up and then you just screw that center down which I'm just going to go do now. And there we go that is all done sorry for whisking that away off camera but they are very long screws they go really quite deep <laughs> surprisingly. Uh, but yeah, that is the sensor all attached there. And then this wire will just coil out and attach to the head at some point at a later date. So the final thing that we need to do is just attach this black part here to the rest of the chest piece here. And that is done via this spoke. So same as before, uh, the sensor will go at the front. So when it's all done, it'll be sticking out the bottom there. So we just line up the holes put the flat end through first and then thread it 
through. And then through again. Push in the textured end so that it is in. And that is in. And that is quite loose for me. But I'm sure it won't be that loose when it's all done. Yeah, and you see that will just that just flips around for now. But I think when we move on to different parts in the future, it won't be uh, that loose. Well, I hope not anyway, uh, otherwise I'll be complaining about it. But that is it for issue 32. I really hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, I will be back next week for issue 33 at this same location, even though technically I would have moved. So um, I hope to see you then for more T-Rex build. Until then, guys, take care. Bye-bye.